Happy Friday. It's interesting when you <laughs> when you get back into the mix after being sick or whatever. I mean, so much is moving so quickly in all of our lives. I mean, so many moving parts. It's it, I mean, it, it is certainly like a river that constantly moves and you jump right in and you're swept up and the challenge to stay present and the challenge to to look at what's important what each of us find to be important uh, and that's something that we govern within ourselves you know what's what's the number one thing for each of us is it family is it job is it a community is it sobriety is it whatever like you get to we each get to choose what's most important in our lives and what facilitates our well-being within that or maybe what doesn't right we may choose you may choose the drink and that's the most important thing in your life and that helps you make everything else fluid but it might anyway what do you choose you know but just from going from zero back into the mix it's interesting. I, I, I didn't, <laughs> I noticed it today that like, wow, I've been unplugged for a few days um, and jumped back in into the, the raft and just <laughs> swept into it. It's intense. Um, yeah, we choose. We choose so much. And I forget that. We choose so much. What do we want to be focused on? What do we want to make important? What do we want to honor? And uh, yeah, it's, it's just another level of the lens that we see life through, our perception. Yeah, it's interesting. And look, you could, and I have, I, at times I feel like I don't choose anything. I'm just in the mix and I'm swept up and I'm pushed around and I'm thrown around and I'm a victim. And that, you know, that could be a very true statement for some of us. But we, with, if you pull back the layer of each of those statements and where we are in the stream or in the mix, we still are choosing something. Um, for me, that gives me more responsibility and accountability, which is layered. <laughs> because if I, don't, if, I, if, with, if I don't do my best to keep it in check, I will not take the accountability and feel the victim. And that's not as powerful for me. Um, it's not as proactive. It doesn't give me the agency that I need. You know, it doesn't mean that I have any power because I can realize my powerlessness and still make choices. So that's where I'm at. I mean, I'm, I still don't have my car. I still don't, <laughs> I'm just beginning to feel better. I'm in acceptance of those things, but I'm still moving forward in my life in the areas or the paths that I can. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm babbling. I haven't even had a, enough coffee to sustain my eyes being awake. <laughs> Big light, much love, peace.